Hi everyone and welcome to my Thank Card It's Friday. Today we'll be making this card, um, something similar to it. I'm going to make a lighter version. So this is more like a vintage version and it's going to be similar to this. This one I made for a um, friend of mine, a work colleague. Okay, so let's get started. Now the colour scheme I'm going to go with is going to be Naturals Ivory. I'll be using the doilies and um, some crumb cake and this is an old designer series paper mocha morning specialty I think it was and this is one of my favorites I did have to toss up which side I wanted to go but I ended up deciding this one okay now this here is I'll explain to you what I've done is I've gotten my Stampin' Up! box all right so to get this middle section here the corrugated box all I did was um, got any box well I got my Stampin' Up! box and um, what I get my packages and orders from and I took both layers off each side and this is what I end up with now I think it's pretty cool and it adds a different kind of texture to your card so I'm going to be adding these extra layers so this card's going to have a lot of layers um, it is going to be more neutral but we are using a couple of new products from the seasonal catalogue as well okay so grabbing the layer of my base cardstock I'm going to ink this up using river rock and I'm actually going to be quite light handed with this it's just going to be quite very smooth I just don't want it to be it is a light ink anyway but I don't want it to be too much on this I just want it as a background because there's going to be a lot of layers in this card and I just want it as an extra background I don't want to press too hard because I just want it as light as possible and see how it's quite faded in some areas and dark in some this is how I envision this one to be even though the en français writing is a little bit light I do want to have a little bit of a heavy um, shaded area on the outside so I've just got my crumb cake and I'm just going to make sure the sponge is inked up and I'm just going to go lightly around the edges and because I do want that more of a vintage neutral feel I'm going to bring some of this color inside just by stroking and coming in so you don't have to be very heavy-handed it's you can go as little or as light as you want it's whatever floats okay so now I'm going to grab this doily and this crumb cake cardstock and I'm just going to adhere the doily down adhere sorry this crumb cake cardstock on the doily and I'm going to just position it how I would like all right so that's how I want it because I'm going to actually turn this up there all right so now I'm going to adhere this designer series paper you'll hear a little tartar in the background because I am doing this a little bit earlier in the night rather than later on so you'll hear tartar okay so all I've done now is I've just stuck the corrugated cardstock onto my um, crumb cake and while I've done that I've at the end of that I've just frayed it up with the end of my scissors now just grabbing some extra ink I've just swiped on the corrugated side just to make the corrugated just prominent just a little tiny bit on this so it's I'm going to sit that on an angle and I'm going to use Stampin' Up! adhesives the dimensionals okay and I'm just going to I've just rolled a couple of the edges just a little bit and I'm going to sit that on an angle just like that okay um, now I'm going to stamp on some Naturals Ivory, ivory cardstock with soft suede and now and then using the Mr. and Mrs. Great stamp for wedding cards. And then also just fussy cutting right around it. And I've already prepared one here. So I've cut really closely to the edge as much as I can. And then just grabbing your sponge, you can give that a little bit of a tiny sponge again. Just because it's such a dark crisp 
nearly ivory. Okay, then grabbing some dimensionals, I'm going to adhere just pretty much the sides because I'm going to make that sit on there. So I'm going to put a little bit of adhesive on the word and. And adhere that down. Like that. Okay. Alright. So that's going to stay like that. And then what I'm going to do is grab some three different types of ribbon. So I'm going to grab my ribbon scissors. I've got the uh, ribbon grey grain stitch and this is pretty in pink. And I'm, I'm going to cut them about two and a half inches in strips and I'm going to cut pretty in pink the Victoria ribbon and I might cut this one a little bit longer Just, they don't have to be exactly the same length this one could be shorter one can be longer okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab um, a brad this is the enchanted brad this one's an old one um, I'm retired and then place them alternatively in the brad prongs and like that so it's just going to be randomly except when you break the brad <laughs> let me grab it okay and then I'm just going to twist that around the prong so it covers around all right so I'm going to play with this so I can have make it more look like a random type of structure now why I'm not too phased about this brad in the picture in the middle is because I'm actually going to cover it with the new rosettes so I'll just place this around so we can okay okay so I've just snipped one flower trim this vanilla flower trim from the latest seasonal catalog and I'm going to use some adhesive which I'm going to use glue dots to adhere this rosette down on top of that I'm going to adhere that to the side just like that now just grabbing if you can I've got it handy a pearl I think a nice little pearl on top of that now because I find the pearls it's only got a little glue dot I tend to put a little bit of Tombow mono adhesive on the center of the flower Just to help give this pearl more adhesive to stick down. If I can get my pearl on it before the Tombow dries, that would be awesome. Now the pearl's on an angle. Now it's stuck on my finger, I think. I'm having trouble with this one. Okay, so I'm going to leave that. Make sure it dries up. Oh, I keep taking it off. <laughs> I finally got that pearl stuck in there. Okay. <laughs> that was a little bit of a mission for me. Okay. So I'm pretty happy overall with this kind of card. Um, now I'm also going to mount this on a ivory card base. And I'm going to mount it on um, some dimensionals. Okay. So that's what the front of the cardstock of the the card looks like i think it's important especially because it's such a lovely occasion i think it's important to continue the theme on the inside as well the sentiment that i'm going to use on the inside of the card stock is from one in a million and i'm going to use you can use two 
Um, <laughs> excuse Tasha in the background. Um, the best love story is the one you write together or wishing you a lifetime of happiness. It's totally up to you. I think they're both great sentiments. I'm just going to choose the best love story. Okay, now grabbing some crumb cake ink and some Naturals Ivory cardstock. Just going to stamp that like that and then give it a little sponge. Now I'm going to adhere this on some designer series paper, the same one that I used out the front of the card and then I'm going to mount that designer series paper on some crumb cake. Grabbing that crumb cake and I've adhered it all down together. Just going to adhere that on the bottom of the cardstock on this card. So there you go, that's my thank card, it's Friday. So it's just a lighter version and a different bit of a version to the one I have. Now the reason why I actually chose a smaller card and smaller dimensional is because I've got some beautiful crumb cake envelopes. So what I'm going to do is actually give the envelope some love and attention as well. I'm going to grab my en say and I'm going to grab just ink up the corner and what I'm going to do because I do not want that too strong I'm just going to adhere that a little bit of tissue down and I'm just going to stamp the corner you could hardly see it but it's enough and I'm going to sponge just that edge corner here and I actually might um, stamp this one image here of the love story so with crumb cake just in the corner there like and just a pearl in the middle of the O just like that so something simple but you know just following the theme of the card and that's going to fit perfectly in this crumb cake envelope so there you go thank you for watching thank card it's friday i hope you enjoyed today's video don't forget to like and share any of um, my youtubes or facebook or even my blog so hope to see you around and see you next time see you later